Hey guys, today we are going to be going through a day in the life where I take you through my prep for Thanksgiving Day. I'm going to be brining my turkey, cleaning my house, getting my things in order. So I hope that this gives you guys some major cleaning motivation, some inspiration to get everything together in time for your Thanksgiving dinner if you are hosting or if you are having family over or just having a small shindig at your house this year. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up like hit the subscribe button you know all the good stuff let's get into today's video okay so this is nova's outfit today you guys don't sleep on walmart okay this was four dollars and 96 cents this is such a cute pattern and then i just got these leggings these are 389 but um so cute and fall and festive and perfect for her mm -hmm. birthday party today at school. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Can I wear it right now? Yeah, of course. Be careful with my hair, Mom. such a big girl say it's my birthday on Thursday it's my birthday on Thursday yeah all right we got Nova's birthday cupcakes and her ham because she was responsible for the ham today are you excited <laughs> are you excited for your birthday party at school so one of my girlfriends got me a gift card on my birthday for coffee, but I had already gotten coffee. So I am getting it now from Starbucks because I'm finally up here again and my birthday was like a whole week ago. Um, I did try something new today for my coffee. Um, I'm excited. I, why am I the way that I am? Seriously, I don't get it. What, baby? Anyways, I dropped Nova off at school and we got... TJ, what is it? He's kicking the back seat like crazy. Good Hi. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, Thank you. How much is the person's behind me? Seven eighteen. Can I pay for that too? I'll just use the rest of this card and then I'll. This is dollar sixteen. Woo! Oh my god, it's so windy here. I really hope that the power does not go out again, but we have a generator Okay, so yeah, um quad blonde espresso over ice a little dash of half heavy whipping cream sugar-free cinnamon dolce sugar-free vanilla Wow that is flavorful and delish I love that. That is so good. You guys have to try this. Okay, so we are headed to the grocery store right now because I need to get. Ah! Ah! My God! That's what I get. I gotta go. Bye. You don't forget your first love. We were young and wild. We were up all night. You don't forget. I actually need to get a roasting pan, so I'm gonna grab one of these. I thought I was cool. I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make up. Alright, guys, I'm gonna walk you through my process of brining our turkey. This is my first year ever brining a turkey, and I'm super excited about it because I have heard that this method is 
what makes a turkey super flavorful. So I'm just starting off by washing my sink out really, really well. I wanna make sure to get it all nice and clean because I am going to be putting a big old raw turkey in here. And I am not storing the turkey in my fridge because it's a 25 pound bird. So I used a tip from a friend and I'm going to be using my cooler this year, which was really nice. And washing this sink is so satisfying for me. So I hope you guys are getting the same enjoyment as I am from watching this right now. So typically turkey brines are a combination of salt, water, and sometimes herbs and spices. So for today's brine, I'm going to be using some brown sugar, some iodized salt, some black peppercorns, star anise, thyme, minced garlic, as well as some fresh rosemary and some red onions. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is get the bird into the sink. I'm gonna cut it out of the packaging. It has been defrosting in the cooler in cold water below 40 degrees temperature that I checked and made sure to keep at a safe temperature. You're just gonna wanna take the neck out and the giblets out, the bag of giblets, and you're going to want to make sure to rinse that turkey up until the liquids run clear. I added two cups of brown sugar and one cup of the salt to boiling water and I just stirred that until it dissolved. Then I'm going to take that cooler outside to the back and I'm going to do the same method I did for my sink. So I'm going to make sure that I wash it out really, really well with some soap and rinse it out with water because a raw turkey is going in here. So you're going to want to make sure that this is as clean as possible. So I am just using the hose there and some soap and I gave it a really good scrub. And then I'm going to transfer this back inside the house so that I can put the turkey in it. So it's important that you put the turkey breast up when you pour the brine solution in and then you're going to want to add your other ingredients. I did about two tablespoons of peppercorns and I just sparingly tossed in the rest of the ingredients. I had no rhyme or reason but I will include the inspirational recipe that I took this brine from. It's an Alton Brown recipe that I found on Good Housekeeping so I'll be sure to include that down below in the description box but you're just going to want to fill it up with water and ice and I also did use two containers of vegetable and one vegetable in one chicken broth and then you're going to want to keep filling it up with water until it's completely submerged and I took a Ziploc bag with an ice pack in it and topped it with that. Okay, so the turkey brine is now set. You're gonna wanna make sure that you temp your water and make sure that it stays below 40 degrees. You can get bags of ice and just like switch out the bags of ice. That way you can control the temperature a little bit better. Um, I have a... I have a long thermometer like this that I will just go out and check every few hours. And I plan to have that out there actually until Thursday morning. So it is Tuesday afternoon right now, it's one o'clock. Um, so for like, what is that, 36-ish hours or so I'd say, I think I'm gonna take it out around 9 a.m. on Thursday, but we'll see. Um, I have to go and get Novalee now from school. It's literally one o'clock, I'm running so late. My grocery order is not gonna be ready to be picked up, which makes me kind of anxious, but that's okay. I know that the grocery stores are struggling and I did go to the grocery store this morning because there were a few things I didn't add onto my pickup order. <sighs> so we're gonna get through this. When I get back, we're gonna be cleaning. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. So I want to start off by cleaning the areas that my guests are going to be spending the most time in. So I'm giving this couch a really good deep vacuum and clean, just making sure that it's nice and cozy and it's got the nice vacuum lines. I did go ahead and change out my pillow covers in my um, decorate video, which is going to be coming out shortly after Thanksgiving. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that. And then I have all this leftover decorations that need to go upstairs so I'm gonna bring that upstairs and I'm gonna keep on cleaning the dining room until I move upstairs to clean the guest bedroom where my parents will be staying oh, we don't need no I am seriously all 
all about those convenience meals the week of Thanksgiving. So I got this roasted garlic and herb pork tenderloin. I'm just going to um, sear it on all four sides here and then I'm gonna put it into a 425 degree heated oven. Looking for in life, crazy, but things are finally right. This is just a quick message to all my mamas out there. You do not have to feel like superwoman if you are hosting this week. Convenience meals are a way of life and easy spot cleaning and skipping out on some of the finer tuned details is completely okay as long as you feel comfortable in your surroundings, your family is fed, and you are warm and together. That is the most important part. So don't feel like you have to tackle every single thing you have on your to-do list. Don't feel like you have to clean every single nook and cranny of your house this year. Make sure you give yourself some grace. And that, you know, you try your best, but everything is going to be fine as long as you're able to spend the holidays with your loved ones. And that is the most important part. So moving upstairs, this is not only my kids' bathroom, it's also the guest bathroom that my parents are gonna be using while they're here and staying in our guest room. So I wanted to make it a little festive by hanging up this little Christmas shower curtain that I got last year. And it's super simple, easy trick to make things feel a little bit more festive in your space. And the next I'm just gonna go ahead and change the sheets. Make sure you do that if you have anyone coming. It's a really nice feeling to know when your guests get in your bed that they are smelling nice, clean, freshly washed sheets. And I am using this time as self-care to have a FaceTime chat with my girlfriend. So that's why if you're seeing my mouth move and it looks like I'm talking, it's because I totally am. I am dishing all of my stuff and having a complete vent session. So thanks to my girlfriends for listening to me while I'm cleaning and getting ready for family to come in. Anywho guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed down below. I would love to have you join the fam. I hope that you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope that this gave you guys some motivation. If it did, please let me know down in the comments. I love getting to know y'all and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.